So here we go. We got the Xiaomi Home Security Camera 360 1080p. Let's do an unboxing and setup of it on um, Google Home. And we may set up the Xiaomi app as well. So make sure to download Xiaomi Home application. This will help you set it up and manage it and it's always good to buy the one that's designed for your region in this case this is the Australian region which makes it easy to set up otherwise you'll need to log into Hong Kong sign-in page for the Xiaomi so let's do the unboxing and setting up of it and give it a go Looks very cute. It feels heavy. Typical product. They have a reset and a standard micro USB port. And I'm assuming that's all it comes with in this box. Maybe a manual and a micro USB cable. Correct. That's the micro USB cable. And what is this? Uh, this is if you want to mount it onto surface and it locks into place and the little booklet we're not going to need any of that for this okay so best to sign into your Xiaomi account create one if you don't have it now as you may notice you get this region information if you bought your device from Hong Kong or Shenzhen somewhere in China not locally, then you'll need to sign in to Hong Kong. But in my case, um, I already have a Xiaomi account and it just works fine. So I'll sign in with Australia. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, sign in. Okay, so I've signed in and I should be able to see my current devices. Yep, I've got one of the cameras and I've got a Xiaomi robot vacuum cleaner which works fantastic. So let's set this up. We we'll need power adapter. I've already got micro USB power sorted, so let's plug it in. And if you turn on the Bluetooth on your mobile device, you should be able to pick it up automatically that something is nearby. And let's see what happens. I just heard the click sound I guess there's the infrared oh here we go the head is moving scan QR code or use Bluetooth to pair the device waiting for connection right so you can either use Bluetooth this one's got a male voice um, the robot has female voice that camera I've got has, got has got no voice that looks pretty cool here we go as I said if you've got Bluetooth turned on it will automatically pick up all right now you, now you got to tell it to where which uh, Wi-Fi to connect to as you notice it's only 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz channels are not supported type in your Wi-Fi password here we go and the next now waiting now waiting for connection now at this point you hold the phone towards the camera screen and it should be able to pick up the QR code there we go QR code scans successfully connecting Ooh. please wait great now it's connecting to our network give it a few seconds connection to Wi-Fi completed cool press next and now it should just be to account completed. good online. good 
for back in business. Okay, that's about it. And I'll put in the memory card and do a quick recording. Device added, good. Now you can set it up to record to a network storage or a cloud storage. Um, now I'm going to call this work. Cool. That's fine. I'm going to put a memory card in and it will start recording onto that. So we should see the camera come up now. Here we go. Let's make it full screen. See the quality? Let's see if the motorized functions are working. Cool. Wow. So, 360, so that's the limit. So, this is pretty cool. Nice. Cool. Now we'll get it to look at the camera directly into your eyes. Video quality you can choose. Okay. Pretty much simple. So this little red dot usually means you have an update available and I do recommend it so it's out of the box. Now it's a good idea to have a memory card in there. As you can see no memory card and supports up to 64 gigabyte and use high speed if possible so this is a 16 gigabyte and it is class 10 that should be fine so let's turn it off put the memory card in and do the update and what's automation Hmm, I see. Yep, you can add rules. Okay, cool. Hmm, so you can turn off status light. Light off. That's a usage warning. I don't care. Sleep settings, not necessary. Image settings, a watermark. Yep, mm hmm. Yep, if you mount the camera upside down, you'll need to rotate the image. Night vision, it's good to have it on automatic, that's fine. Switch automatic, that's fine. Okay, let's um, turn it off and put in the memory card and we'll do a recording and do a play of playback of the back uh, recording, see how it goes. Next question is where do you put the memory card? Maybe this flips open, nope. Oh, right there. It's like the mouth of the camera. It's a, it's a dumb place to put it really. You want it hidden, in my opinion. And let's refresh. So it's still not back online yet. We've got a grey icon. Cool. So it's doing a self-test. There we go. It's online. Let's do the uh, update of the firmware. Great. Right. 
Xiaomi has come a long way with these updates and quality control. Alright, so it should come online anytime soon. We're back in business. One day I'll test this whether it's really encrypted or not. Uh, manage storage, status card, normal. Let's format this. It's a 16 gigabyte. Great. And the remaining shall become 14.5 or less. Yep, and there we go. We're in recording mode, which is good. Now, sometimes you may want to just take that if it's um, an area where you don't have a lot of traffic, but usually I always choose always record. And this is a good option to have a NAS network storage. So you can choose what it detects on the network as a, as a destination. And if there is any available network shares, you'll be able to map them as a storage location. Hmm, let's see how this goes. Hmm, there's a call button. I'm curious. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, it's basically um microphone you can speak into it and this one here you can hear the sound from the other side hello, 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 hello. you get the idea so this is if you want to speak into it or to speak to somebody on the other side this is to listen in cool Cool. So it is uploading to a cloud service which they keep for seven days. No, thank you very much. Here is one of the events. Which is a five second, a two second uh, recording. Okay, so I can record onto the phone as well. And I'm going to change the quality to be HD. Hmm. And if it does ever lose its calibration, then it can recalibrate. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how we can integrate that into Google Home. I have no idea. Let's give it a go. Okay, new devices, test, one, two, three, Martian Avenue, Hampstead, UK, cool, I'd like to live there, yep, next, allow, cool, I'm really curious to see how this will work, hmm,
Oh, nice. Pretty cool. 